Hey, welcome back to another review here. The Hanger Stefan, at least that's my current name right now. I've been changing it up. I evolve, I change. As life goes on, I become a different person. So who you see me as, like in some of my old videos, 2017, 2018, I'm a bit of a different person. I mean, I still really think that we all need to really care about each other, care about the world, love each other. First off, love is the answer. Love is the key, people. That That's the main message I've got on this channel. But also, I mean, I've always been an artist. I've always loved art, so I'm gonna get myself out there by just showing you guys some different art products like these Paris Saint Germain Nikes. These Jordan 4s are just, I mean, I saw them when they first leaked information about them. It was quite a few months ago. Anybody who's following me knows that I posted a picture of an early release of uh, the backs of these. Well, I was gonna have to grab them on the resale market, but the Nike app came through. I was able to grab these Jordan 4s. Honestly, I don't really get very much on the Nike app, but this morning, also, those Union Jordan 4s released. I snagged those up. I'm like, come on. I didn't get any of the apparel, none of the shirts, none of the long sleeves, nothing. I mean, I tried pretty much everything, and the Jordan 4 is the only thing I got, so <laughs> that's all right with me. These Jordans are made in collaboration with Paris Saint Germain, so they do have some grass on the inside of this box or grass print, I should say. You've got your little authentication code thingy in there as well. This is a soccer, or I guess it would be called football, except in the United States. Man, hey, there they are. I love this colorway, just that purple is just a solid color of purple. I, I really dug it. And you got the giant tongue on the Jordan 4. I think that I'm gonna leave the tongue down, like it's sewn down on the Unions. I, I think I'm gonna leave that, but for these ones, I'm gonna have that tongue straight up up, loud and proud get your air unit in there visible you got your amazing pattern on the bottom with uh, all three of those different colorways of this sneaker well I guess there's four because this patch of leather around the toe box is a really light gray it's almost a suede but it is very machined to to bring it real down to basically a milled leather this on top all this white is all milled leather pretty premium fairly premium leather and then you've got this rubber piece right in here obviously the rubber sole and your air cushioning for your comfort and then there is this little tag on the side I'm gonna get this to get this shoe horn out here but there's a little tag on the side says pan name I don't know what that means maybe some real soccer fans some real football fans would know and then you have got a number under here 75 on this rubber uh, pull tab back here. Hopefully it's nice and strong doesn't break on you as you're trying to slam your heel <laughs> into the shoe And then the insole actually is removable. It's actually a really cozy looking insole I mean it has a bunch of cardboard on here it says icy Isis Paris I mean the stickers on here so you can't really actually see it. It's actually on there really good This sticker is like somebody already tried these on or something, but yeah cardboard just everywhere This is almost a rubbery feeling insole. It's not ortho light or anything. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's not React. I, I don't really know what exactly. It might be Zoom actually. This might be, it almost feels like Zoom. So I don't know. And then underneath that insole, you do have this uh, industrial looking material with a graph on it. And then a whole bunch of stitching in there that has just been taped down. Yeah, some different stitch lines in there. Underneath the insole for authenticating. It's like a, a red and a little bit of a blue sort of graph in there underneath this zoom unit. I'm just gonna call it a zoom unit insole. Uh, <laughs> that is what we're gonna go with. But yeah, on this pair, you also already have a little bit of creasing right there. Look at that. It's already creased. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little bit of a crease on there. And then for your aglets, these lace ends, you've got gold aglets. I only know that name because of the new app that uh, a bunch of people have been downloading. If you're into shoes, you should download the aglet app. This is totally not a paid advertisement for aglet or anything, but it's, it's kind of a cool app gets you walking and I mean I'm a mailman so I walk like non-stop except for today I got the day off somehow I don't even know how that happened but anyways back to the shoe these mesh panels are rubber so they do have some move to them if you can tell I'm really moving that around there. And then, yeah, pretty much everything that can be rubber is feeling like it is. These here are rubber, that's rubber there. 
this back piece, this whole logo is rubber and it's not really put on there that well. Look at that, it's already coming off. So <laughs> these are already showing a little bit of wear even though I haven't even thrown them on feet yet. Oh my goodness. But speaking about throwing them on feet, let's go ahead. Oh, the sticker kind of came off onto the, onto the shoe. I'm gonna rub that off. One nice thing about stickers on shoes or on insoles, if you just rub the goo, the friction from your hand will rub it onto your, onto your fingers and then you can just wipe it on your pants or whatever. But yeah, that totally came completely off, totally fine now. This one also underneath, it's just got some loose strings in there, taped down. One nice thing about these Jordan 4 tongues is they do put elastic on both sides of the tongue on the inside so that the tongue doesn't move super far to the to the left or to the right, like on um, some Converse shoes. Oh my goodness, Converse shoes in the past have been so rough because the tongue just slides all the way to the side. When I was growing up, I wore a few Converse because they were shoes I could afford, you know, growing up in a super poor family, 12 kids in the house. Yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw these on feet. Before I let y'all go, I am gonna shoot some positivity at you from my phone here. Quote from Dr. Seuss. Nobody's too old to learn from somebody who's taught us when we were children. Think left and think right, and think low and think high. Oh, the thinks you can think up if only you try. Oh man, that quote was so good, I just, think that a lot of people don't spend a whole lot of time doing their own thinking and thinking outside the box, thinking different ways of doing things and just different ways of changing the world in positive directions. I mean, there's a lot of ways the world is just going in, in negative directions. How can we refocus those things and be overall more positive? Think about it in your life. What are some ways you can be more positive around the people that you're around? How can you lift the spirits of people around you to create a more accepting and a more loving vibe. I mean, we all need to just be looking out for one another 100% of the time. We can definitely have our jobs, have our hobbies, have our little side businesses or whatever that we do. And it's okay to have uh, different aspirations or different things you really like, like collecting art. I've always been somebody who loves to collect as a little kid even. And it's okay to have those different personalities to be a different type of person than the others around you or even to have similarities with people, that's okay too. You don't have to be 100% different from everybody else. I mean, we all wanna be individuals, but there's a lot of similarities and we need to also capitalize on those things. Like we all want love, we all want acceptance. So let's try and accept those other people. Even if they maybe don't accept us, let's find ways that we can just accept them and just push them people around us in a positive direction so that uh, this whole love thing can really spread because we really need it right now. So anyways, I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.